Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I did this blue butterfly eyeshadow look, which I absolutely love how it turned out. This is actually the second time I do a butterfly look in my channel. I actually did like a pink, orange, and yellow one last year. Here's what it looked like, and can we appreciate the progress? <laughs> this time I added more detail to the look, and I just love how it turned out. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how I made it happen. Since right now it looks like the butterfly sort of eye look is, is very on trend once again. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So if you're excited for that, stay on and keep on watching. Okay, so I went ahead and did my complexion off of camera for this look and I'm just wiping off the bake really quick. And then we're going to get started with the eyeshadow look. I am using this blue from the Juvia's Place of the Warrior 3 eyeshadow palette. Of course, you can use any blues that you own for this. Doesn't have to be exactly the products that I'm using. And I'm just applying that to the outer portion of the lid all the way to the crease and just packing it on. And we're just kind of mapping where the wing is going to be. That way I don't go any higher than that, if that makes sense. So only go as high with your color as the wing is going to be. Then I wanted to go in with a brighter blue. So I went in with this shade from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker palette and added that all the way to the outer corner. Your darker shades as usual are going to be all the way to the corner and then your lighter shades on the inner portion of the lid. And then for a darker blue, I chose this shade from the Jawbreaker palette and just pack it on the very corner of the eye. And then I knew I wanted to do silver with blue and I remembered that my Stupid Love eyeshadow palette from House Laboratories has this beautiful silver. So I spritzed my brush and with some setting spray to avoid any fallout and used that silver from the palette all over the lid and making sure that silver is nice and blended and that it diffuses into the blue. You can even use your fingers for this like I did. And I also took that silver to the inner portion of the lower lash line. And then just retouch that blue a little bit using the blue from the Stupid Love eyeshadow palette, which I forgot that there was a blue on there and I should have used this blue from the very beginning. Okay, so now we're going to do eyeliner and follow it up with the eyeliner detailing of the butterfly and just know that I'm going to be switching back and forth with like four different eyeliners because this is the video where I learned that I need a new eyeliner because almost all of the ones that I have are dry or out. <laughs> but again, you can use your favorite liquid eyeliner for this one. Just pick your favorite. And I started doing eyeliner as usual, lining the top lid and on the outer corner, you start shaping the end of the butterfly wing. And I'm just going freehand with this. You can use picture for inspiration for the shape or other pictures on Instagram, or of course, just follow me. <laughs> And then for the inner portion of the lid, that's where you begin shaping the top of the wing. And once you get to the end of the wing, you literally wing it out <laughs> and then go past the tail of the brow. And we're just going to keep sketching from there and even going back over what I had previously done just to make sure that the eyeliner is really black so you can see it, especially from far away and in pictures. Um, so just take this process slow and steady. You have to be really patient with this because this is where I actually just want to go really 
fast and keep it moving but this is something that requires patience so i just kept repeating to myself just like take it slow slow and steady because once you make a mistake it's really hard to fix yes you can go back and fix it you know makeup removers and stuff but it's really hard and it's gonna take you way long so it's better to do it right the first time which i i know it's hard but practice makes perfect to remember that Okay, so then I took that blue from the Stupid Love eyeshadow palette to retouch the blue in the wing. I just wanted to make it really blue and then add that blue to the lower lash line too. And then start sketching the bottom portion of the wing. And then once you're done with that, fill it in with a dark blue on the outside, a lighter blue in the middle, fading into the silver for the inner portion. And then for the inner corner of the eye, I used this matte white shade from the Stupid Love palette and just took that from the inner corner of the eye all the way to the brow. I added some black detailing and then I grabbed my white eyeliner and added the white dots of all sizes to the end of the wing.
And then we're gonna switch it over to the other eye. And on this side, we're gonna go simpler. We're not gonna do both wings. <laughs> I feel like that process is gonna take another hour and a half. So on this side, we're gonna go simple. So I started with this light blue shade from the Stupid Love eyeshadow palette. And then, um, I'm so sorry, but my camera chose to stop recording for some reason, but uh, I basically did a similar thing where I grabbed the bright blue on the outer V and then I'm doing black this time for the very outer V of the eye. Then a lighter blue on the inner portion of the lower lash line and that same color on the inner portion of the crease to kind of like close the look a little bit. And then I also did a little bit of that close to the brow bone. And then for this eye, I'm just doing a traditional winged liner. And went out of order, I'm not sure why, but of course I did the silver on the lid and then white on the inner corner, just like on the other eye. And once that was done, we're moving on because the eyeshadow is complete. I'm adding mascara, then false lashes. And then I just put on some rhinestones, just some random black rhinestones for a little extra something. And then I went in and added blush and I went in with the blush. <laughs> I wanted it to be super noticeable. I even took it on top of the nose. And then I wanted a blue highlighter just to bring it all, wrap it all together with this blue theme. So I used this shade from the BH Cosmetics Blacklight palette. I love this palette a lot. It's so bright and cool. So I highlighted with that and I even added it to my shoulders too. And then for the lips, I went in with a Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Abused. I love this blue a lot and it went perfect with this look. And on top of that, uh, again, for something a little extra for the look, I patted some of that blue highlighter on the center of the lips. And that, ladies and gentlemen, completes this look. This is my brand new butterfly makeup look and how I did it. Let me know what you think in that comment section down below. All of the products that I used will be listed down there too. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I love to help. And if you did like this look, don't forget to like this video and subscribe before you leave. I'd love to have you. And yeah, I hope that you and your loved ones are well. Please take care and I hope that you're staying safe out there. And as always, hopefully I will see you right here on my next video. Bye guys.